We are currently on the 22nd of September. Episode 11 hasn't even gone out, nor is the trailer. It's insane. I'm getting so far ahead right now, just simply because, again, if you are new here and you're not really up to date with things, I do have a baby due in November. So the plan here is to get all of the videos uploaded, everything prepared. Hopefully, I'm fingers crossing by the beginning of November. But we can't waste too much time today because this episode is like 32 minutes long. Like, what is going on? I think what it was is I was basically typing up the script on my computer more so than my phone and I find it more annoying doing it on my phone because I don't know I think I'm getting fat thumbs but on the computer it's much easier because it's, there's bigger buttons do you know what I mean it's, it's clear so there was pretty big bombshells in this one yes mini tune does appear at the end of the episode yeah this is getting crazy there was also two end cut scenes which were pretty good which does leave a pretty big cliffhanger and don't forget guys I am only going very, very similarly to the Piggy storyline. I can change. I can do whatever I want. If I want to kill off somebody, I will. In fact, I've made it very clear that I want the end of this series to kind of be like a, uh, yeah, massacre. <laughs> and I think it's going to be. Off the top of my head, I think I've got, oh, this is going to sound rough about five people that I'm going to kill off. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I may change my mind here and there, maybe more, it might be less, I have no idea. I'm just going to see how it goes. Anyway, I said we're not going to waste too much time, I'm literally doing that. So let's jump on to the Premiere Pro. This is everything. This one was hard work. I had a lot of help from, uh, we had AJ Roblox, we had Overwhelmed, um, we also had Piggy Films, and we also had the Ambit Ambulate. I had to really think about that one then because we had four people helping on this one um, but yeah this is the entire storyline favorite scenes it has to be AJ's fight scene I think AJ's fight scene was just incredible it came together really really well I gave him enough time where he could do like loads of work on it as well I think that that was probably my favorite scene of the entire like episode I did my fight scene first and I was like man I'm so proud of it like, all of the camera motions and everything like zooming around it was just so Oh, good and then AJ just sent me that and I was like oh <laughs> but yes also another good ending cutscene oh they just keep coming don't they anyway we've had enough of that <laughs> Now there is quite a few things in this episode that I am going to be able to tell you about. There is going to be uh, a few behind the scenes kind of gestures. I also have an idea as well for episode 12 that I'm going to make a video on like making a thumbnail with me because I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to sound, well, okay, I could be honest because I always say that I don't think that my animations are that good, uh, but I think I'm pretty good at making thumbnails. That's the only thing. So I'm thinking that maybe for episode 12, I'm going to make like a completely separate episode or video where I'm going to make the thumbnail with you guys and you guys can watch me, how I do it, etc., etc. Anyway, I'm gonna shout out Waffling. Let's do this. I've even got a can of Coke prepared. <laughs> Na 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 oh, We're gonna miss that intro aren't we? We're gonna miss that intro The signal slightly too big couldn't be bothered to change it. It was Ow. so late at night. It was at like 2am It's you Pony got a, 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 a black eye really quick, huh? <laughs> I think it's a bit too purple as well, but we are here to help. I'm very uh, critical Why of myself. Ask the guy with the huge white head. It's a bit rude. It's George, isn't it? George, Georgie, whatever. Yeah, that's why I was yeah, like, yeah, whatever, me. because what a lot of people like, George? his name is Georgie, not George. And I was like, yeah, George, Georgie, Please. whatever. I Call me what you want. Taking another blow to the face. <laughs> George, we are just here to help you. I promise that we aren't going to hurt you. I saw what all of you did in the city. That poor elephant nearly landed on me. <laughs> Wait, the elephant you was fighting, Zizzy. I like that. I, I don't know why. That, elephant that poor elephant nearly landed on me. <laughs> it's just oh, something you never uh, hear in life. It was? Yes, buddy. I have been searching for you since the beginning of the uprising. Wait, what? I know. George, we have so much to talk about. Uh, hello? 
kind of took a smack to the face over here. <laughs> oh. No uh, one cares. <laughs> Shut up. Horseman, George. We found Let's George. No one cares about you. You'll be you'll be alright. Well done, Tigri. Well done. Now I'm a murderer. Tigri, think about this it. This was Amber Amulet scene. Out of his misery. This is just a carry on from what he did I in know, the last episode. I don't see how that is preparing me for what you call the, the real world. world. You might come into a predicament at some point, Tigri. Ooh, a predicament, big word. You have to fight for yourself. Well, I'd Tap just back. run away. You can't run away forever. You have to tackle these issues at some point. These issues aren't going to go away anytime soon. Issues? Yes, issues. We all have issues. Hands up if you have an issue in your life. Eyes. Everyone like does. Said, like, you, you might have an ingrown toenail. Ever. That's an issue. <laughs> your pillow might be too firm. That's an issue. We all have issues. Issues in our tissues. Hmm. Hmm. Fun fact. The boy is around that, here mm. And there's a few My more things in this episode that I recorded at like 1am last night. And I was really, really close to the microphone like this going... Hmm. Huh? <laughs> I was doing all of the like when they were doing the fight scenes as well when they were doing like the the punching and stuff. I was going. It's because of me. It's how I do it. I really need your help. I need to find. I also wanted to kind of put. Oh, I almost said his name again. Almost said his name. <laughs> I wanted to put him down there as if like Mr. Stitchy is the most powerful one and he's looking up to him. Well, I told my daughter that I needed his blood to create a cure for blood. I felt like I could have explained this scene a little bit better. Well, I know if I manage to get the boy's blood, I will be able to so like why would he be able to get the blood like if, if he gets the blood why is he going to be so i should have like explained a bit more that it's going to be doing with like potion making and kind of like witchcraft in a way and you know that kind of side of things George, I'm so glad I found you. I've been looking for you for weeks. People told me that you wouldn't be alive, but I kept believing you'd make it. How did you know I was out there? Well, I used to be a police officer, and I was at the station when the infection began. And I was probably running away from my parents at that time. They're all infected now, including my sister. I'm sorry to hear that, George. I think we are all in the same boat. Even Pony over there. His parents are all infected also now. It's so scary. Everything that's happened, you know, it really is. Anyway, when I was at the station, I received a phone call. A phone call? A phone call from who? I don't know. They were really secretive on who they were. <laughs> X. Huh? X? Who's X? I've had this weird person stalking me. Never seen them. They just always contacted me through this radio that I had. Hmm, strange. Really strange. It's this is like filler, isn't it? See me the like I'm staring time. at this and I'm thinking, my every step. it's quite as boring. <laughs> he is with me all the time. As if they are like some type of ghost? Yeah, as if they're... I mean, there is some the kind of world, meaning behind the scene. A different dimension, like, you know? And has just met George. They had to kind of hmm. have this uh, conversation. And that dimension, hmm, is because... Ant went to the dimension with Tio, right? So that's the kind of reason as to why he's like, you guys, dimension? look who's back. I think I've been there, do you know what I mean? That bit there as well, look who's back. That was at 1 a.m. last night. So I got really close. Hey, look who's back. <laughs> hey, you two, welcome back. Did you have a fun time out? This isn't. This sure is done did. like way I back. We did something big what I do at the end of, you? like once I've done an episode, I watch it like I'm doing now, time, from the beginning to the end. I'll Everyone press play on so my uh, re like on, voice recording thing, and I'll just go through the entire Hello, video wherever I feel like I might be able to add like little words or That's whatever awesome. sound effects. I'll just yeah, do them man. and add them in like right well at the end of like yourself. once everything is done. Step. So true. You never know what the world might throw at you one day. Mm -hmm. Couldn't agree more, Kitty. Well. There you go, Tigri. What did I say? I told you everyone would be thrilled for you. It's just not me. I'm too young for this stuff. 
You got to be ready, Tigri. This isn't the world we once lived in anymore. <sighs> oh, my bit. Coming up. I love you, fresh meat monster. I hate that bit. I don't know why I put oink oink. Oink oink. So stupid. That was at 1am last night, that bit there. This stuff isn't, though. This. I, I did all of this earlier. I don't know, some of these bits I just think are really, really clean. That bit there was my favourite, like, camera kind of thing. I think there's everything so close as well. Mr. Stitchy's still watching. So we killed off Georgie's dad. And then the best bit of the fight scene. Bit of Fortnite. <laughs> Classic. Hey, Mr. Stitchy, where did you go? Where did Stay you? here, Pony. That was at 1 a.m. last night. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Stay I think here, it's Pony. Time got out of here. Yeah, the sun is setting. It's just little bits like that where I'm like, okay, the they could have said something what there rather than just getting up and walking. Like they got oh, up, pause, the just get a little bit as if like, they what... should be saying something. Oh, George, I almost forgot. You might want this. I'm assuming this is yours. My hat! Where did you find it? It was right outside the room you saw us in. You must have dropped it when you ran. Well, thank you very much. Right, are we going to get out of here? We really should meet up with the others. They're probably worrying where we are right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. There he is. That was the one aimed last night, that. <clears throat> He must be following me because of his stupid tracker. I just realised something I was meant to add in last night and completely forgot. I'm assuming he has some form of telekinesis powers where he can mess around with the signals. I just got to try and find George. This isn't going to be easy. I think now is my time to run while the rat man is still trying to get his device to work. The only, th the only thing I didn't like that is like, Matteo had walked off and he was still talking. Who knew that this was just going to be a simple chess match? Hmm. At 1 a.m. last night. Ah. Ah. Checkmate. That wasn't. You can tell the difference in the Again, tone of voice. Man. Checkmate. Give, give like I couldn't do that last night at 1 a.m. Come on. You know me. I play to win. You don't get better by playing someone terrible. Better? You get better by playing someone good. Better. Well, that's what See? my dad always says. Two ways of pronouncing yeah, better. I suppose. Which one sounds more British? Say. Better. Will. Or really better. Got to start sorting out I would say probably the first one, right? Because it sounds what a bit more uh, American than the second one. Better. Well, you know, better. me and you both share the reins at the top of the gang. We're not going to be here forever. No, you're not. Are you saying we need to get people in line for when we are no longer here to take over our positions? I mean, it's a depressing way to look at it, but that's exactly what I mean. Kind of like a will. We need to make sure once we are no longer here that TSP carries on. Okay. I quite I like this scene. I like so setting up the chess table and this. stuff. Who do you want to be <laughs> the <next> horses? <laughs> well, Felix has always and been fun fact, I now. because I Maybe know how to play chess. I actually put that, that board like in a checkmate position okay, as well. So we put Felix in line after us. But what about after Felix? Well, I chose one. You choose one now. Well, I think you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You're going to say Tigri, aren't you? Is he just not a little bit too young? He is quite young, but I have a bit of a soft spot for the boy. I can see that, Willow, and I understand why. Thanks. So, yeah, I think I would like to put forward Tigri. I will just make sure he is prepared. That's fine. So, our final decisions are Felix and Tigri. Sorted? Co-leaders, huh? Felix and Tigri, who'd have thought it? together in the morning just to give them the news. Sounds like a plan. Meow. <laughs> George, George. I also try to make here? her sound like the noise George. of her running. Like when she's close, that it's loud. When she's not, it's not. Do you know it what I mean? Looks as though he's gone. You will find him. He isn't far. He isn't far. That's not helpful at all, is it? 
I mean, it's better than no note. What is going on with my tracking device? I seem to be receiving some kind of interference. Ooh. Hey, Ratman. How about we leave the poor children alone? Fun fact. This scene, X actually says his name by accident. I had to delete it because I was like, why did I say his name? <laughs> So I think there's a scene where X doesn't have, like, you see the text that comes up at the bottom of the screen. I think there's one where he doesn't have one that comes up because I even wrote his name in that text, so I should delete it. And he just says it without the uh, text. I love that port, though. That port is so really cool. Totally made it myself. <laughs> because what? You know what I'm going to say. Yeah, like I said, if I was in the same boat, believe me, you don't want that business. What you don't. Are you still here? Don't you have something you can be doing? You know, saving the world, like the superhero you think you are. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, saving the tail from a rodent. What? I wanted to like make it sound like X was provoking him in a way, like really trying to push his buttons. Irritating little. Ooh, what was he going to I say? Ooh. <laughs> so Piece of poo! <laughs> Mateo, please run as fast as you can. He's trying to buy Mateo a bit of time. Right this way, you guys. Now, this is. Uh, whose scene was this? I think this was Amber Amulet again. Hey, again. How are you guys? Look who we found. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Am Amber Amulet made this bit. Wait, is this? George, the boy I've been searching for. The poor kid was just hiding away in the mall. Hey George, how are you buddy? Yeah, I'm okay. It's been a rough week or so. Mimi, Mimi, I finally <laughs> figured out how to whistle. Listen. See, Zuzi? <laughs> Pony looks so funny with his George, weird eye. what the? Oh my goodness, this is insane. How are you two still alive? Wait, you three know each other? We sure do. We went to school together, in the same class in fact. Yeah, us three were really good friends. Wait, Zizzy, do you remember me telling you about the story about a boy in my class getting a detention for laughing at me for getting a maths equation wrong? I think I do, yeah. Well, this is him. George was that boy that got the detention. I wanted to throw it back really? to episode one a little wow. bit. It really is a small world, isn't it? Hey, you guys, I have something to tell you. What is it, Mimi? Well, you know that Mr. P guy? Oh, I know him very well. He isn't good news at all. In fact, I'd like to give him a bit of what I think about him. Well, hold on to that thought, Ant. I think I might be able to get you to him. You what? Mimi's a clever soul. Hey, good morning, Wakey, guys. wakey, peeps. Don't worry. Oh, I've just realised Pandy's today. arm oh, is through the bed. what's up? Oh, me and Billy would just like to talk to you guys in the cafeteria shortly. Is something up? Is no, something up? nothing's up. We just want to have a little chat with you guys regarding the future of TSP. For sure, buddy. I will get up right away and be with you guys as soon as I can. Oh, and Tigri, make sure you're wide awake. This one is going to shock you a bit, I think. Shock me. Yeah, don't worry. All will be explained when me and Billy see you all in the cafeteria. Hmm. This Which Piggy like Plays did like seven lines of and then I finished the rest. That bit in the cafeteria. So listen carefully. We're listening. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I wanted to add that. I was like, so listen that carefully. I trying to get to work? Go on in. I do indeed. <laughs> is it working? Did you get to contact with the military? Sadly, not. However, I did manage to track down the signal of a helicopter. A helicopter? Hmm. 
Yep, a helicopter. However, this one looks as though it is owned by Mr. P. He left the hospital in a helicopter. Well, there you go. Even more confirmation. Yeah, so listen. My plan here is to find this spud man. Boop, boop him, him upside, upside the head. head. <laughs> Maybe make some french fries boop out of him. Upside your head. <laughs> Bam, we're out of Say here. Oops, upside Maybe. your head. I do need answers. I spent a short amount of time with the man and all he seems to be doing is making this infection worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he infected He's a doofus. I want a piece of him too. So, let's go and chase him down. But what if he tries to infect us too? We are a team here, Pony. We can do this. Oh, I love a good outing. Yeah, and we could finally get out of Lucena. Well, let's go and stop him once and for all. Ooh. Do -do -do. All right. You gotta Listen love that. Up, everyone. Okay, Me this bit. So seven him. lines. We want to put a few measures in. Piggy there. films did, Willow and then I did the rest. Him. I added in the particles. I changed Thanks. the lighting a little really? bit. Friends, it is time to take TSP. I quite like the, the particles. Step. I think they're really Baron cool. Baron is gone. The world is a crazy place right now, and we wanted to make sure that there are people in line for when and if anything does happen. You mean like co-leaders? That is correct, Katie. We just want to make sure that if anything ever does happen to me or Billy, someone will be there to take the reins. Okay, I understand. Who are they? Okay, so both me and Willow have chosen one person each. I have chosen this person because I feel like I can trust this person with my life. That person is Felix. Congratulations, Duh. Felix. That was going to be the Willow. obvious one. Would you like to come up here and say a few words? Nah, oh, I'd rather sit down. Sure. To my fellow members of TSP, I am honoured to have been given this great opportunity. Not only am I proud to say that I consider myself a member to a great gang like TSP, but I've also found friendship, a family. And for that, I have to thank Billy and Willow for allowing me to express who I am and what I do. And I will do everything in my power to make TSP a place for the greats. So, who is the other one, Willow? <laughs> About so. that. Listen guys, firstly, I just want to express how much I appreciate each and every one of you. You liar! You all brought me happy years, and for that, I cannot be more thankful. It's going to be Pandy, I know it. Me too. Should be Pandy at least. Willow and I don't know why, so that was feed so it talking there, and he didn't go far enough forward. Person who fills me up with joy. When I look at this person, I remember it looked like it was one of the great times. Pandy, no, Pandy talking Pandy. though, right? Shh, let her speak. I want to know what she thinks of me. Stop spoiling the moment. This person has the potential to do... It's like, yeah. I know it's going to me. Shut up. TSP, <laughs> outside of TSP. Go on, keep telling me. So I know, I'm so I good. I would like to appoint as co-leader number two is... Pandy. Tigri. Wait, what? Whoa, what did you just say? Uh, I said Tigri. I want Tigri Music's a bit loud. I was meant to turn that down last Wait, night. I'm sorry, but you've known Pandy for like seven years. Pandy is an all-time original. Out of all people, you choose Tigri. I must say, I am quite disappointed. Oh, Pandy! Sure? Don't be just disappointed. I don't want to hear another word. Guys, please give Willow some time to speak. How can you expect her to explain herself? Exospect. <laughs> Exo I'm sorry, Willow. Please, go ahead. I'm sure there is a feasible reason as to why you chose Tigri. Yeah, I would love to know. All right, guys, come on. Let Willow speak now. Let's hear her out. Go ahead, Willow. Hear her out. There's too many huzz. Be brave, Matteo. I like this, this scene. Hey, because you guys probably had no idea that I added why in the, the, the searchlights and the uh, great big thing. Running. I don't know why. I felt like I felt like the plant kind of needed, or like the outpost, whatever you want to call it. I felt like it needed those searchlights this in the air. This is where the signal came from. Okay, so this was so overwhelmed. Mr. P is in here Fun fact: he did it really fast. He knows running. he did it really yes. fast. So I think the frames do go a little bit stay here with the children, at times. Maybe. No. Really I good animation, go just very fast. George, 
I like your determination. See how it answer. This used to be a military outpost. If we go in there and the entire place is infected, it's <laughs> not going to Literally how infected. it's like. I really don't care. This man killed my parents. You expect me to wait outside while you guys go in all guns blazing? Yeah. He has a point. Please. You can shut it off. I just want to look the man in the eye and see what he has to say for himself. I say we bring him in. Pony, shh. Now's not the time to have your opinion. Oh, let me okay. reset the camera. You know what? Fine. But George, you have to listen to me. You have to stay close to me. A kaboom. And you I'm have back. to do what I say. Does that sound fair? Deal. Well, I guess we're going in. I guess you Perfect. are. Z, Zuzi, you guys stay here with Giraffe and Mimi. Kinda want to come in as well now. No. no. Absolutely not. You're staying out here. Don't even try that one. Come on, Zuzi. We can go up the top and watch from above. Fine. All right. It's about that time. Well. Fun fact: ready? there was meant to be this bit in there where looks like we're going in. Zuzi was meant to do the uh, TikTok. It's about damn time. Wait a minute. It's in a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. So listen, guys, and just please hear me out. I've that seen thing. Tigri go she was meant to do that dance. Boy, but uh, in of an arry, yeah, by a it campfire, wasn't a dance. <laughs> It was more like anything due to being so petrified. <laughs> so After yeah, just the last go. few weeks, I have really seen him blossom, come out of his shell, and just become this brilliant young man who I know one day will conquer anything he wants. Sounds like she's talking to her little brother. Uh huh. I can see that too. So I just want a young man to come up through the rankings and do us proud. So like Willow said, you guys, Tiger is going to be next in line as well as Felix. Wow. Would you like to come up, Tigri, and say a few words? Yeah, go on, Tigri. Speak up like a co-leader would. Imagine making a little boy I, uh, like that. Come uh, up. Thank you come on. The leader. Co. Co-leader. The uh, co-leader of the paws that are silver. The paws that are silver. Weird leg running. <laughs> Even more weird when <laughs> Willow was like this. She was like this doing the Naruto run. If ever anything happens to you guys, we become leaders? Of course, Felix. That's I kind of find it funny when they do that run. Oh, I see Willow paused in the background. What? I never see that before. <laughs> What's she doing there? <laughs> she was just like this. Stay close, George. This Andy. is a brilliant scene. This, this is AJ. That was at 1 a.m. last night. Let's go this way. And me and Pony will go over there and check out. Gotcha. Okie dokie, buddy. Good scene. I like this. This is my favourite. Well, not my favourite. But I like, like how he like zooms into the soldier hole. AJ. That was genius. I don't know why. Just that was good. Like they all walk Hell past it. It's right all normal. Here. That must mean Mr. P is close. This part was inspired by PGHL films. <laughs> George, stay back. There's <laughs> a camera scene and he's like, Oh, this little scene is so inspired by PGHL films. <laughs> it's funny. George, this just got a whole lot crazier. Yes, it did. Now, all of the oohs and the uh, uh, this was at 1 am last night. This whole entire scene. And watch out. That was at 1am last night, you can tell. And watch out! It's like whispering it. Oh my goodness, there's more. Zizzy, Pony, where are, are you, you guys? guys? Love that scene as well, really good scene, AJ. Take that, stupid. Zizzy, Pony, where hey, Pony, are you guys? it looks like you need our help. I, honestly, when I'm here going, <laughs> I sound so stupid that my neighbours probably think, what is going on? Especially at 1am. About time! <laughs> but it does add like a lot. Like You wouldn't think like, oh, that's so weird when they when you watch it. But like, just imagine me here going, Over 
There's so many good scenes in this one, especially when Mateo jumps down to save Pig. Um, George. Down. Oh, I love that. So good. And the music as well that goes with it as well, with like the ancient kind of singing. So good. What? Huh? And I wanted everything to be like just rain almost. And and I even hey. searched up harp music. I wanted a bit of like George. It's me, Mateo. What in the just world? Just a bit of harp, You're you know. Infected. I, guess I just think so. it goes but so well. Luckily, I managed to control it. You know just what I mean? Then. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can't. I won't say a word. Let's keep that a secret because. I have so Mateo can you. sometimes thanks control Lad, his infection. Good to see you. I thought you were dead. Oh. I agree. At 1 a.m. last night. Please come out. Please come out. <laughs> Where are you? Come on. This is literally me whispering into the microphone. Just speak to me, Tigery. The reason being is because I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so I needed to get it done before I go on holiday. Hello? <laughs> I didn't have time to do it today, Tigri. to watch this twice, do you know what I mean? So I watched this entire thing last night. And I didn't want to do it twice today Tigri, by like doing this okay? video as well as doing Willow. all the sound effects. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. That's why. It's okay. Don't worry. Otherwise, I would have done. You have a long time before anything will happen. This is just putting measures in place. You don't need to worry. So let me get this straight. You're basically saying, if you or Billy dies, me or Felix becomes leader. That is correct. Like I said, it's a long way away for now. I wouldn't even worry. Okay, Willow. Yeah. And seeing you guys, <laughs> this is. I wanted to put him in like a kung fu Ethan kind of. have been living with each other throughout this whole infection, and I thought he was. I know how I kind of just. I'm oh, and G George has cheeks now. Yeah, I know. I took it from a different file. Whoops. I'm going to once oh, I go to like know, book two. I'm going to I make sure that absolutely everything like is jam packed inside of each other. Uh, I have a bit of cramp. Oh my god, Pony, are you okay? Nah, no one cares yeah. about Pony. I think I just pulled the muscle while He's in bits, isn't soldiers. he? And I think I will stay here with Pony. Do you three want to go in? Do you lads want to come in and confront him? I sure do. Let's do this. I'm with you all the way. Oh, all right. love this scene. Time has when come. they run towards the camera. Let's go. Episode 12. Literally. Now I made I used a very similar song before and I really really enjoyed that kind of like end credit cutscene. So I searched it up and there was a different version of the same song. So it does sound familiar because it has been used for a previous end cutscene, but it is slightly different. That was pretty much me that scene, but I just left it out it is. I didn't want to Oh, it's in there twice! Oh, someone didn't get crit. Okay, I need to. Ah, oh. yeah. Okay, I'll have to uh, re-edit it then. <laughs> Whoopsie! It's a good job I spotted it. I can make all the changes then, I suppose. The brilliant scene, including mini tune. All the boarded up windows. Everything looks so deserted. Canadian flag, a little hint towards Mini Toon, Boss Baby, getting closer. At this point, I should hope that everybody knows that it is him. And then there's the sword. You just have to know. And then he's on the sofa. He has a little twitch with his leg. <laughs> Mini Toon did a really good job with what I wanted. <sighs> This was me, banging on my desk. I made those footstep noises, knocking on my desk. Phone ringing, all the apocalypse. <laughs> I love that Mini Toon's voice is in this. Speaking. Who is this? Hi, your friend is in trouble. My my friend, which one? And he's going into this cell of camp, and it's not going to end well for him. 
Wait, 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 wait. He's alive? Yes, but if we don't get there fast, he won't be for much longer. Threat is at an all-time high. Lives will. will. I even put that in italics. What, what the? Who am I speaking to? I love the way how many two says two. It's so cute. Two. He says it like it's alive. Two. I got a call for backup. Backup, I hear you say, Mini Tune. <laughs> Second end cutscene. Must be around here somewhere. At 1 a.m. last night, this hen entire thing. Stupid monkey boy. Oh, Giraffe, he's by himself. Must be a good friend of his. Boom. Episode 12 will be split into two parts. Part 1, November 19th. Part 2, November 26th. With a short, distorted memory coming out at Halloween time. There we have it. So that was the behind the scenes for chapter or episode 11. One of my favourite episodes. No, it is my favourite episode. 32 minutes long. What was it? 32 minutes and 21 seconds. I mean... Come on, I think the longest one before that was like 20... I don't even know, 23, 24? I don't even know, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments section if you're still here by the end of this video. But of course, at the end of every behind the scenes, I let you guys know what the name of the next episode is going to be. Like I said, it is going to be split up into two parts. I d look, honestly, don't expect two like 32 minute parts because I just don't think that that's going to happen. I, 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 so don't, don't do you thinking that, okay? But the next episode, chapter 12, part 1, is going to be called Assemble. That might have a little bit of clue to the end cutscene. Hmm, who's it going to be? Well, find out in the next one. <laughs>